And what? A what is new baby? Um, honey, that's a piece of electronics. <laughs> yes. What is it? What is it? It is our new MPPT charge controller. Okay, so panels. what's wrong with our other charge controller? Nothing, but we purchased it for the wind turbine, so we'll be using it for it. We needed an MPPT. This is the one I chose. And when are you going to install that? Now. So you're going to take the camera with you, right? Maybe. Well, okay. Here we are again, playing with our solar project. Uh, this is our Xantrex XW MPPT 6150 charge controller. And it's uh, a heck of a lot better at um, recovering the energy from the sun than the uh, C60 which we originally purchased for our uh, wind turbine. So that'll be hooked up to the turbine in the spring when we get it all hooked up. So it's in place, ready to go. We just got to run uh, some power to the batteries from it and power from the windmill and she's ready to go. Um, in here, I've placed two more circuit breakers, which are not in use right now, but they'll be for our additional panels as things go along. The new, the new uh, charge controller is, uh, I don't know if you can read that. But it's saying it's uh, the output is 730 watts at 50.7 amps. I believe that's what it's charging at because this is the uh, value that's in the battery bank right now. 14.4, still charging very well. Today so far we've got uh, 153 amp hours at uh, 2.10 kilowatt hours. This is more energy in half a day than that charge controller would do in two days. And it's still going. So yeah, it's, it's working very well. It's pulling 781 amps or watts out of the panels. Um, I only have four and there's only 880 up there. So it's uh, it's doing its job it's been on for six hours and 12 minutes and uh, total for today is yeah, so far 154.1 amp hours 2.1 kilowatt hours which is really cool <laughs> I couldn't get that uh, like I said in two days of the older controller the older controller will work great as a diversion load for the windmill all well worth its money, all Xantrex equipment. A little pricey this one, but uh, well worth it, well worth it. What else we got going here? Oh yes, I uh, wired it and I had wired it as per the controller and they told me that uh, to put the main ground directly into the box and to separate the PV from it. So I followed that and what it did was it drew too much power or not enough to run my well pump. So this morning I got up to uh, things not working and buzzers going off and so what I've done is I've put the proper ground to the, the circuit to the service put the ground to the panel and then I isolated the PV just to the box not to the main and things are working great it's just a little uh, little bump but uh, we figured it out so there she be things are coming along great like I say it's a fairly decent sunny day with a lot of cloud cover and it's still producing really well. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye.